Hey, welcome. This is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek and Joe from Joe's PC and Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to take your data off of your uh, Black Armor hard drive. Uh, I had the uh, NA, NAS uh, 110, uh, which is a one terabyte hooked into a network, uh, hooked into the network to Cat5. Uh, it was one gigabit speed per second hooked to my home network so I can back up my computer well the uh, this is the shelf for it and this is what the hard drive is hooked to the uh, board here actually fried it was dead so it's not working and the uh, I'm going to show you today how to take the data off of the hard drive which has a hard drive here in this case I'm going to show you how to take to recover the hard data off of here so you don't lose your data and also how to uh, keep using this hard drive if the hard drive was good when you took it out um, there's only one hard drive in this shell as you can tell it only would, would fit one drive so it's one terabyte hard drive in here the other hard drive in here is, is from a uh, another uh, enclosure that I had but uh, anyways this is for the one terabyte drive it was plugged into here it's uh, just regular SATA and then it had power and then uh, it was in the shell but I already uh, ripped it all apart it was uh, this shell here was just snapped on and this guy was inside so this was just snapped together I just used a flathead screwdriver pried it open ripped this part off hard drive was plugged in here just pulled the hard drive off of this and then uh, I took it and I hooked it up to my I have an adapter here that goes from SATA and then it converts it to uh, USB so I can plug into my computer and then I have power here as well so I plugged in with power and then uh, next up was to use the software on the computer because the hard drive was formatted for Linux, not for Windows. So I have you have to use a special uh, file explorer so you can view the uh, hard drive uh, partition through Windows as a uh, Linux machine. So I'm gonna switch over here and I'll show you the uh, desktop view here and I'm gonna do a screen capture of my computer and I'll show you what steps I took next. All right, so the next step here today, I am going to show you uh, after you get the hard drive hooked up, obviously just plug into SATA and give it power. Once you do that, you have to go online and you're gonna download this program here. All right, free download. I'll put a download in the uh, description down below this video here. It's uh from www.diskinternals.com slash linux dash reader or you could just google it it is a freeware linux reader for windows it gets access to any files from windows and all I'm going to do is click the download button it will download for you once it's done downloading go ahead and install it once you install it and you open the program it will look like this and then uh, when you have your hard drive plugged in, your uh, Linux drive, which is from the Black Armor, it could be from the uh, NAS 110 or the 220. Uh, basically, it's any of the Black Armor boxes this will work on. This uh, software here, it'll show up uh, two or three uh, hard drives, which is actually just one hard drive partition a few times, three or four times here. Um, and once it's on there, then all you're going to do is right click on the drive and then you're going to hit create image and then it's going to ask you where you want to save it so go ahead and hit save and then you're going to hit uh, save again and then it's going to run through its process which I already did and it's going to save the whole drive as an image once it's completed with that it'll let you know when it's done um, depending on how much data you have like mine was a uh, one terabyte which actually was 900 and 68 gig was what it was partitioned to and it took about four hours to uh, create the image for me but I had most of that was full I had about 800 gig of data on the drive of my backups so that's why it took about four hours to do but once it's done it'll let you know you just hit finish and then again you'll right click on that same drive and you'll hit mount image once you do that you're gonna select the raw disk images and click next and then you're going to go and locate and find the uh, image file that you just uh, created, that create image file. You're going to just click on that image file and then you're going to click open. 
And once you hit open, it will, uh, I apologize, but I won't be able to show you because I already did my drive and I didn't save it, I don't think. No, I'm sorry. But after you uh, click on your image file, you hit open, you click next, and then it's going to uh, ask you what you want it to do. Do you want it to just copy the whole hard, the whole image, or do you want to select your own options? So I went and uh, clicked on the down arrow, which is like a down carrot, and it shows you the whole hierarchy of the uh, hard drive, all your folders in that hard drive, and you check the box next to which ones you wanted to uh, copy or save out, which is actually just exporting these files off this hard drive. So you check the boxes you want, you hit next again, and it'll start uh, exporting those files. And you have to set a location, it'll ask you where you want to save these files, or where you want to export them to. So you have to point to another drive. Unfortunately, you can't put them back to the same drive, because the drive is currently formatted for Linux and not for Windows. So in order to get this data off so you can read it on any Windows or Apple computer, you will have to save this data onto another hard drive so make sure you have enough hard drive space on another hard drive that you have so you can use it, the data to store it somewhere else so once you do that then uh, you hit finish and it'll go through and it'll export all those files to your hard drive and you can just do this temporarily like I did so I exported it to one of my other hard drives I have my computer I got another two terabyte drive so I exported the one terabyte data actually the 800 gig of data and I exported that to my 2 terabyte drive and um, once it's done exporting I'll tell you it's finished you could just close out and you can close out this program as well and then just check and make sure that you uh, got all the data off the drive that you wanted so go to your drive that you exported the files to or saved the files to and make sure that they all work so go into the folders if you have images check to make sure the images load and make sure that it's the full image and not part of the image and then it's the other half is blank or white or black because I've had that before so just double check and make sure that it worked out correctly uh, I didn't have a problem it worked fine for me the first time I ran through it and once you do that then what you have to do is go to control panel which uh, I can show you how to do you just go to start control panel and you'll get the control panel window like this you click on administration tools and once you get that, you want to click on computer management. Once you click on computer management, you'll get this window where you click on storage. You can double click storage here or you can click storage here on the left in this tree view. I just double click the storage here. And then it says disk management. You double click on disk management. And it's going to load all of your disks in here. Actually, all your hard drive disks. But uh, and also the DVD drives, anything, any memory cards you have in as well. And then you're gonna look for the one that's got three. Well, depending on how many partitions, two to four partitions, and they don't have letters next to them. That's going to be your drive that's uh, formatted for Linux, which we just exported that data from. Uh, you also want to double check when you click on one of those. If you look down below here, it shows you each hard drive. So when you click on it, it highlights that drive and also highlights that partition. So when you select one of the ones from the volume uh, choice at the top here, you're going to want to look down below and look at the uh, partitions on it. And to double check, you'll notice uh, the hard drive that's for that black armor box you just got, or a Linux uh, hard formatted hard drive. You'll be able to tell because it's got a bunch of partitions, and there won't be any drive letters next to them because they're not mapped to your Windows computer. And it will just show that they're healthy, but uh, you can't... Uh, you can't create a uh, image or you can't uh, map it to your computer because if you right click this all it gives you as a choice is to create partition and that's it so once you know that's correct what you're going to do is click on that drive so you know what disk it is it could be disk one two three um, basically like that usually disk zero is your C drive so you want to make sure that you don't do anything to that drive so make sure you double check on which drive it is and once you do, it'll also tell you the uh, size of the drive, the total drive size, off to the left here below the disk, the disk, uh, whatever it is, the one, two, three label. And once you verify that it is the correct disk, what you're going to do is right click on each of the little partitions, and you're going to hit format or delete volume. 
uh, whichever one's highlighted, it depends on which version of Windows you're running. You're going to click on that and it's going to uh, verify and make sure you are okay that it deletes that, which you are because you just backed up those files, you exported them um, earlier, like I showed you. And once you delete all those partitions, it will just show up as one big block like I do, like it shows here on my E drive. And then you're going to right click on it and then you're going to hit create image or it's going to say extend volume or create volume. You're going to click on that. And once you do that, it's going to pop up in a window. Let me see here. Let me do it there. Okay. What you're going to do is after you click on that, you're going, a window is going to pop up. I apologize, I can't show you what that window is going to look like because I, I already did this, I didn't record it while I was doing it. But a window will pop up and it will ask you how much of the drive do you want to partition and the default will just do the whole drive. So make sure you look at the uh, number for the full drive and the data is matching the box which you can change and as long as they're both the same it will just automatically do the whole drive which is the default. If you look, that's usually the default. It'll just try to do the whole drive. If you want to partition it to multiple drives, that's fine too. Uh, but I like to just do the whole partition. If you're just going to use it to back your data up, I just partition as one drive. So once you got that, you just click next. It'll ask you what drive letter you want it to be. And by default, it'll pick the next one available on your computer. Otherwise, you can change it to whatever volume, um, map drive you want. So you can give it whatever drive letter you would like as long as it's not being used, then you hit finish and then within, I don't know, within a short period of time could be a matter of seconds to a matter of minutes to a matter of hours depending on if you do a quick format which I recommend just doing a quick format you can also do an intense format which takes longer to do but then it erases everything on the hard drive so it's harder to recover but if you're just putting the same data back on it, a, quick, a quick wipe is uh, just as efficient so I just do quick wipe that takes a few seconds once that's formatted, then you can go ahead and close this. It'll let you know when it's done. You can close out all your windows. You open up my computer or computer by hitting the Windows key E, or you could do Start and then click on Computer. And then once that pops up, all you got to do is click on your drive. I'll show your empty drive. I'll show that there's nothing on that drive. That's your new drive that you just formatted. You double-click on that. It will show your drive and it will show that it's empty. Then you just want to take your data from your hard drive you moved your data to. So like I put mine into my E drive. So then I just have to take that folder that I labeled downloads or black armor. Copy that folder. Go back. Go to the empty drive. Right click on that drive. Click paste or open that drive and click paste. And it will put the and it will start copying the files over and then depending on how much data you are copying over it may take a while to copy over and once that is complete then your hard drive is done you have all of your data back on your hard drive that was on your black armored drive but is now set up for windows so you can plug into your windows computer so you can open your computer install it or buy a external enclosure for the drive just make sure that if you get an, ex an enclosure that you get the correct one for your hard drive and you're all set. Then your computer will be able to read any of your data files that you backed up, whether it be from a Windows machine or PC or a Mac-based computer. You'll be able to read your data. And it's really not that hard. It just takes a couple hours to do. Unfortunately, Black Armor's uh, backup box for me lasted about almost two years. So it was about a year and eight months before it died on me. But the hard drive is still good. I ran a few tests through it and the hard drive is healthy. It was just the board that the hard drive plugs into, I guess, uh, over time decided to die, which I did have it plugged in. I, yeah, I did have it plugged into a power strip. Uh, and as far as I know, it didn't get hit by lightning. And by examining the board, it doesn't look like there's any damage. So I think it just burned out over time. So I'm still going to be using the hard drive to back my uh, files up on. That's just one of many hard drives I use to back up my files. Those are my more important files that I put on the one terabyte because obviously nowadays one terabyte is not that much space. But uh, that's pretty much it. With your hard drive enclosure, you're going to want to go and look like if you have the uh, black armor like the one I showed you at the beginning of this video, the black armor 110, the NAS 110. That's just a 3.5 or 3.5 inch hard drive. 
So when you go online to purchase a hard drive enclosure or buy a hard drive enclosure in the store, make sure you look for one that is made for a three and a half or 3.5 inch hard drive. That way the hard drive will fit in the enclosure because they do have them smaller now for the laptop hard drive, which is only one and a half inch, if I remember correctly, one and a half inch uh, drive size for the enclosures for those. And also now they have the new solid state hard drive enclosures, which are even smaller. So make sure you purchase the correct hard drive enclosure for your type of hard drive. So if it's a regular desktop hard drive, then it's going to be a three and a half inch. If it's laptop, it's most likely going to be the one and a half or if it is the if you got one of the new uh, netbooks which has a solid state hard drive that's going to be even smaller which I don't remember the exact size but they have a special hard drive enclosure for that as well so just double check before you purchase anything make sure you get the right hard drive enclosure uh, once you do that you will be all set you can even buy the hard drive enclosure as soon as you rip apart your black armor so you can do the um, ex the uh, creating the image and then exporting the files from the Linux version to or the, your Linux files to uh, Windows files so you can do it on Windows for your formatting you can actually use that external hard drive shell as well while you do that if you don't have the hookups like I have where you can just hook a hard drive up without putting it into a external hard drive shell yep so that's pretty much it. It doesn't take that long. It's not that hard. It, I rate that as probably like a medium for uh, level of hard hardness. <laughs> the level it uh, takes to do it. So I rate that. It's not easy. It's about moderate. It's not real hard to do. It's pretty easy. You just need a flathead screwdriver to pop apart that plastic case. Fill up screwdriver. Take out a couple screws. And then just a uh, external enclosure, an external hard drive enclosure or the uh, conversion cable that converts the uh, SATA to USB and then also uh, power that converts the SATA power to uh, regular AC uh, power outlet so you can plug it in and give the hard drive power. Once you do that, the software you can download is free. Uh, like I said, I'll put the, in that uh, link in the description down below and you'll be all set and then it just takes a few hours to do and once that's done you will get your data back so you wouldn't have lost anything which is good it's always a good thing you don't want to lose your data especially if you're backing it up and your backup drive goes bad alright well thank you uh, I want to give one shout out to this form which uh, got me started to uh, get my data back it's uh, right from the seergit.com, right from their black uh, armor NES network storage server. Um, somebody else had the same problem I did on their uh, black armor 110. So I went through and somebody recommend uh, Mr. RASG. He uh, recommended using the uh, disk internals.com Linux reader. Uh, he stated in here that he wasn't sure, he hasn't tested it, so he doesn't know if it would work or not. But uh, I tested it and it has worked, so I want to shout out to him. Thank you, Mr. RASG, for the information, and it helped me out to get my data recovered. Thank you very much, and I'll be uh, posting this video online and also to this news form or to this form for the Black Armor so other people can also use it to help them out, like it helped me out. Thank you very much. Have a great day.